So is Michael B. Jordan still dragging on his messy breakup with Lori? It's been a lot going on lately, and Michael is claiming that her mama, Marjorie Harvey, could be the reason their relationship got so messy. I, I could, I could, I could pick up on signs pretty quickly and then register it, digest it, and then, and then go go do what I gotta do. Knowing she stayed in Lori's business, Michael believes she forced Lori into dumping him. The prize, don't give yourself to anybody that is not going to be your husband. If they love you, if they really care about you, they'll wait on you. And the funny thing is, he is finally ready to spill all the tea behind Marjorie Toxic Ish. And just when we thought they ended their relationship over not being on the same page, she manipulated Lori to leave Michael after this. Marjorie kind of ran to Harvey's house and claimed that Lori needed nothing but the best when it came to dating a man in Hollywood. So when people said that Michael was the one, Marjorie wasn't buying it. And whether he seemed pressed over the situation, I truly believe he wanted to clear his name. Mm. I, now I gotta figure out how to tell these stories without no names. Mm. Okay, let me see what I got for y'all. So like I said, it's been almost a year since Lori and Michael broke up and Lori moved on with Damson. Michael kept it low key for a while before he moved on seeing someone different. Knowing how bad the Harveys played him, he spoke on being hurt. But it was a sad place, man. I just kind of like stayed to myself. And while everyone might have thought that Lori just ended the relationship because of Michael, wasn't really the case. Because now it's been said that her mama Marjorie was the problem and had a lot of control over her relationship with him. He felt like she was forcing her to use him. Knowing her and Steve was known for giving her relationship advice anyway, so it's not hard to say that Marjorie really wanted Lori to be with a rich man who would marry her. And Michael was the key, but what pissed her off was the fact that Michael wasn't really supportive of Lori as she wished. And when they broke up, she instantly threw shade by sharing a clip of Jennifer Lewis. You sit in too long, it stops smelling. So come the out of there. She tried her best to make it worse. But isn't it strange that out of all the relationships Lori have been in, she chose Michael to drag? I mean, Lori dated Future, who was clearly not on the same level as her. And let's not even mention Diddy, who is on the down low of being gay. Child, it's crazy to say that even after that, Lori spoke on Michael being too close to his ex. I would say if you're too close to your exes, mm. that's a red flag. <laughs> But what made this situation even more messy is that rumors are saying that Michael was ready to commit long term, but wanted Lori to sign a prenup. And when Marjorie found out about it, she was pissed and told Lori to leave him, considering that he wasn't really for her. It took him some time to adjust to Lori's decisions, but now he said it just felt like it was for the better, knowing how bad Marjorie really wanted him out. And it's crazy to say that she is still in the midst of everything. And even though people is calling Michael Hurt for bringing up his past relationship with Lori, Marjorie is still being toxic and got Steve thinking that Michael was the bad guy when honestly y'all, Marjorie was planning on something big for Lori that wasn't going to involve him. And since things has been revealed, Steve has no feelings for this guy. And after telling him to love yourself, my G, Steve clearly went on to speak on his true feelings. Well, first of all, let's be clear about something. Yes. He is a nice guy. Yes. He is not the sexiest man alive to me. And not only was he forced to hate Michael anyway, but Marjorie's best friend even knew the truth. And her mama, Marjorie, my girlfriend, she gonna make sure that she doing and navigating the right way. Cause she gonna make sure that she is. And Lisa let it be known that Marjorie was a little too off in her daughter's business. Every mother should do that, you know? But I think at the same time, she's young. I think the established relationship that Michael did have before this one, I think that maybe that social media that all of that was a lot for him. And I think that he, you know, I heard, I will say this, I heard about his ex and him was so serious. But when it came to Michael and his ex, allegedly they were best friends. And yes, she was white and that did cause a lot of confusion. But back when Michael first started dating Lori, rumors were said that he only dated white women and slammed black women for the way they carried themselves. So by the fact that he even got with Lori was weird that people swear they was dating for attention. And I can't name a time I didn't hear them say this was a PR stunt. Women period, all women, everybody's on the table. Okay. But even though people was confused on them being together, Marjorie made sure she figured out the whole relationship. And if it took forcing Lori to leave him for something better, then A, she either lost a good thing or her mama was just too damn nosy. So if you thought this video was a hot mess, then wait till you tap on this next one.